Be there for the cold. For the cold. Well, obviously, you remember we ran Gordon Wonder in and say, yeah. "Yeah, I heard this rumor, and you were going to confirm it." Okay. And from that, we can go directly to the band, or you can cap it off if you think it needs to be whatever. Okay. Okay, and then uh, Mark has got the opening music and band vocal, which is. I'll take you just the way you are. I would say I might get Steve Warner completed in the first hour. If I do, then I'll need an opening tune for the hour. It's raining, it's pouring. It's a routine. Every morning a production meeting followed by a rehearsal. But it's never dull, according to Paul Ernst, executive producer and director of The Bob Braun Show. We're too busy to be bored. <laughs> uh, as soon as we is, are done with one day's show, we are working on the finishing touches for the next day's show. The 10 a.m. meeting is the first time that everyone on the staff and the talent see how today's show is going to go. Any questions or problems are ironed out here so that the one rehearsal goes as smoothly and as quickly as possible. Uh, in doing the show live every day, we kind of developed a system so that we really know what, basically where we're going. It's just specifically for this guest at this time, where will it be, uh, what microphones will we use, <clears throat> and uh, what are the commercials around it. While musical numbers are worked out and studio preparations are made, Bob meets with talent coordinator Linda Musicamp. My job is to make Bob look good on the air when I have that last minute, you know, time with him. Okay, you got, you got to find out if Dorothy Hamill is married. Right, right. And you have to find out uh, Gordon Jump. What's the name of that play? You know? California Suite. Oh, okay. And he's through Beef and Boards through May the 31st. Okay. Now he's not going to Indianapolis, though. I'll, I'll double check, but I think he did. I think oh, he's coming. Not. I think he's coming from Indianapolis. He might just be on hiatus, too. I'll check. Okay. I'll make sure. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the most important thing to do is to read the biographies of your guests and find out what they're about. And if it's a book, to be sure you read the book mm -hmm. and be totally prepared as to why the person is here. Hi. Today's guests are Olympic doing? skater Dorothy Hamill and WKRP's Welcome big guy, you. Gordon Thank Jump. You. And by the time they've arrived, Bob knows you? everything Dorothy that you'd Hamill? ever want to know about them. Before you know it, it's a quarter of 12 in Cincinnati. A quick change of clothes and Bob Braun is ready for 90 minutes of live television. It's the Bob Braun Show featuring Nancy James, Mary Ellen Tanner, and Mark Weston. On today's show, Bob welcomes the big guy, Gordon Jump from WKRP in Cincinnati. World champion skater Dorothy Hamill will be here. Steve Warner with his new hit single. There's $600 in the mystery song. And now, the star of our show, here's Bob Roy! Surprisingly, now is when the real pressure begins, because while Bob is live in the studio, Paul is above in the control room. And while it's not impossible to communicate, it can't be done directly. We call it telegraphing. He, we're, we're kind of used to him and we watch for things. Uh, and really not signals, just the way he might say something. Uh, we know right where to go next if, if it's suddenly a change. Um, and we try to anticipate too, but he knows what he's doing, he's a pro. Uh, and the guy that's counting him down, Kit Carson, is very good at what he does. Uh, and I, part of the secret of the show is they work together all the time, every day. So Ten, right nine, now I gotta remind you that eight, on our next program, seven, six, five, four, three, two. There is pressure because we have to make decisions instantly. Take three. Ready, two. Both of them, two. Both of them, two. Ready, one. Take one. We're on both for a while. Can be a great big wide shot too. Three, stay on Mary. Ready, two. Take two. Calls in slowly too. Thank you for getting the shot so quick. That was great. After a performance like that, everyone deserves a break. But they won't get one because on the Bob Braun Show, even the commercials are live. 
The hardest thing I find is that if I'm going to sing a song on the show that day, it's very difficult to go from cons wieners to standing up and singing about, uh, I believe in miracles, you know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't give any of us a break to sit back and wait a couple of minutes um, or a minute or whatever it is and, you know, whew, wipe your brow. <laughs> Despite all the headaches, heartaches, and cups of coffee it takes to put the show on the air, for these people, live television is what it's all about. There's always those last-minute problems at midnight the day before or 5 of 12 the day of, but um, it seems to always carry itself off. I mean, you know, we can't beat Bob. I mean, you got Bob as a host. I mean, seriously, no matter what happens, it's, uh, it's going to pull itself off because he's a real trooper. Do you have to be sort of a ham? Not sort of. I mean, I, you know the old joke, open the refrigerator, the light comes on, I do a chorus of red roses, you know. <laughs>